Bonjour, monsieur ou mademoiselle, and I can do more French. Hello, welcome back uh, to uh, Let's Play uh, The Outer Worlds. Je ne moi. That's why we thought it for a little bit of uh, semi French in there once again. Well, uh, we have discovered one lead, so that's a clue that, uh, well, there's a secret lab here on Monarch, and we intend to find it. And it's another secret lab than the secret lab that we've already found. It's labeled secret lab! Wah! This is not the gun for this. This is kind of the better gun for this. Oh, you wretched bastard. Ow. Well, I'm not feeling too good. Too much acid. But him, he, he or she really had too much acid. Lost a leg over it. You want to hide a body? You could dump it in that sulfur pool. Yeah, I, I don't figured got much that. Use for sulfur in my own work. Neat that it's here, though. Yeah, sulfur pools. I'm sure that smells wonderful. Oh, hello. Backing off. You look like. Oh, they are kind of class, so they're not necessarily hostile. No, they are just traders. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we can go to Amber Heights, but I think we should go towards the uh, laboratory first. That we had discovered earlier. Good. Oh, I see you there, buggies. Right, no need to go sneaky on this. Die! One swan, thank you. The party is hammering the swarm. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so that was the box. Now we went go up here, I believe. Um. Yeah, whatever noise I thought it was bloody mantis walls again. Mm -hmm. Up we go to the ah oh, there's more swarms. Right, one, two, three. Alright team, take care of the swarm, very good! We are maybe quite a team fighting our way up here. New team. We're full of young people, exciting! So are those bandits here again? Oh, I saw them flicker in, then they disappeared. Ghosts! Oh no! So, uh, yeah, where? Oh, up there, 19 meters. So yeah, we discovered this secret lab earlier with the goop gun. So I guess that's upstairs. Makes sense. Ah, oh, there, there. No, it's not in here. It's somewhere to the side. Uh, Felix looked a bit creepy there. I never thought I'd find a pink mask creepy, but it is. Alright, where does this thing want me to go? It should be inside. Oh, I'm missing a room. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, this is all sciencey. Or control uh, thing, a uh, thing in the bob. If I press all the buttons, will I be super smart? Hmm. Research data. All right, transfer files to an external tape is sure to be valuable to someone. Approve corporate uh, presidency. 
Return to Sanja with a data cartridge, okay. Okay, we can hack this. Thunder Dog, Ekmeam, Scum, Gurk. Fuck you, Veldas, I want my race. T S T E S F I. I think the first letter was to mean something here. No, nothing new. Okay. Alright, so clues discovered. Last clue we can find, I guess, is Fallbrook. Though, with this uh, science, I think we already have enough proof, so we don't really need to go to uh, Amber Heights, I mean, not Fallbrook. I do have to go to... Actually, no, we have to go to Sandjar. Still think we should go to Amber Heights, though, see their whole business. Because else it's just transmitting from two sides, from one side still, so... Might as well make friends there, or gun them all down. I heard some complaints of not gunning enough people down. But I'm not that kind of player. I want to, you know, solve pro- well, solve problems. I mean, I want to gun down people in real life, whoopsie. Oh, anyway. Uh-huh. Right, so we go over there. Huxley. Yeah, we still need to can speak with Huxley. Okay, then. But yeah, I find uh, if you just shoot down people, you're not getting optimal rewards out of uh, games. I mean, people, designers put hard work in quests, and uh, in general, they uh, don't appreciate you just gunning them down. That's generally not uh, what they would want to reward you for. Right, okay, so these are all the weird fellas with the f f really f weird hats. So. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. Oh, come on, you eat plenty of dead critters, like Professor. So pretty in the cereals. I think it's pretty pretty. Kind of better than uh, Fallbrook. Anyways. You have nice pink hair. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Hmm. Good, so you made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Oh, wait, it was that girl that, girl that was uh, locked up uh, in that arms building where we got the bolt thing. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg foot area where does my foot end and my leg begin wherever that is it hurts ankle so no runs for me for a little while time to kick back and relax cool without the kicking i assume huh why because your leg oh ha you're funny oh yes i am i'm charming to the max Oh, uh, the, uh, your, uh, how long will you actually be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Hmm, how did you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get away from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Oh, angry bird. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Anyway, sorry to hear that. Bye bye. I am supposed to talk with her. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. I'm looking for Chesty. I hear you're with the buddies. Oh, she's such a gem. She gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook. Ooh, I bet she's hiding does that when she owes people money. I'll leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. Oh, uh, no, that's not how it works. We mustn't let her hide from her problems. Help her cleanse her spirit and her debt and all that. Oh, you're right. We're always told to quit with the materialisms and stuff. Yes. I ought to be helping her to come to the light. 
She's got a secret hideaway out in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. It's pretty busy for an abandoned facility. Here, I want a key to the back gate off her, but I ain't going near that place. Hmm. You won this. Why would she give it up if it's all secret and stuff? She was digging real deep for that game. I think it was about the last thing on her. About this secret facility. Exciting, isn't it? Steeped in mystery. Anything I should know about the layout and what's there? Um, hmm. Oh! Once she did tell me about this one time when she set off an alarm outside the back so everyone would clear out. I don't remember why she did that. She was kind of drunk though, so maybe she made that all up. I have a doubt that. Are there any guards or is it infested with horrible monsters like Mantisaurs? You got me. If it's anything like the rest of Monarch, I'd take weapons with you just in case. I always do. Alright, never mind then. Okay. Alright, see you around. So, I wonder if the secret facility is the one that we just raided, or if it's something new. Anyways, let us meet some of more of these Iconoclasts, see what they're all about. Revolutionary and rioters! Ash, you have a name. Never seen you before. Are you sure about that? You're so drunk, you're barely sitting up straight. You're wobbling all over the place. I may not remember today tomorrow, but I damn well remember yesterday now. That makes sense. Wait, I mean... Nah, that's what I meant. Yes. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Heartbreak? Oh dear, what happened? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? Might be a job in it for you. Oh, we oui, oui. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. I do like the nice cushioning there from the inside of the armor. That makes uh, bobbing your head about, I assume, quite comfortable. Uh, how long ago was this? Oh, sure. I was with him when the corpse were leaving Monarch. Hell of a time, that. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox, and I've been thinking about seeing it found. Hmm, a lockbox, eh? You want those momentous, what are they? Photographs or something fancy? Thereabouts. Okay, alright, one lockbox coming right up. Where is it? Appreciate it, kid. I'll mark an outpost on your map. We you spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Okay, another outpost to explore. Fun. Alright, who else do we have around here? No one in here. No, that is very steedable. Are you a person of note? This no. is something off. Right, you're not looking right. That's just loot. Well. We'll grab that at another time. I want to find people to talk to, so we have a lot of missions once again to do. Now we can talk with Sanja, but uh, we have other plans. Bigger plans. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm not staying near those cables. Oh, hello there. Gun, I'm stealing you. So where are the bosses of this place? I suppose there might not be bosses. I mean, they are iconoclast revolutionaries and everything. 
You are Tucker Needland. You have a name. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I am Captain Jules Nivea. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Are Help you us an engineer? free this world? Tucker, huh? You're uh, Agnes' little boy from a stellar base, perhaps? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. Oh, no matter was... what my mama wishes. Oh, yes. I take it she's it still looking back. for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger and asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Danger, man. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Well, that's a fair Don't point. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Well, they do that. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. Okay, those last two I, I never had happened to me. Too long. Ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell How you. How old is your mother? Look, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you're a grown-up man. Show your mama. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why pull your I trousers down. Again? That'll show her. What'll be different this time? Because you'll pull your trousers down. You've survived outside of Stella Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> you're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Hey! Now show her who's boss. And show her how big her son has become by pulling your trousers down. There's no one here, right? Yeah, no one here. Yink. Not anything here. Ooh! How's it gonna burst? We can see him. Someone ought to fix this before they explode. Okay. System correction, mark what order is resolved. Is that good? Arching reaction. Oh, we need a bit more science for that, but I think we can get there. We've heard from a wrapped house. Let's hack, we can get there too. Dear diary. Door to examine the residence in Medbay are stuck, completely sealed. Someone can get this thing open. Okay, that's one thing. So we just need to get our tech skills up. I think we can do that with a bit of armor. So, uh, let's see. This gives us lock picking and dialogue skills. Uh, what have we trained that to? Let's see. Science? And what other armors do we have? Long guns. Block. Stealth skills. Range skills. Hack. So we can get the hack up. Might be able to do something then. Alright, let's give this a go. Ah, that's enough science. Shut off the, uh, the, the power for going through the bar side panels. Heard from Raptors, we ain't heard from Raptors in a while, since Milton and Oprah haven't heard from him either. Remotely reset the Raptors communication breaker. And Azor, I figured out how that work orders. Your diary eat it. There we go! Well, isn't that a good bit of work we've done? The common working man is the hero, I tell you. Okay, so who do I talk to about all my good work? And uh, let us actually put the old armor back on. 
We shouldn't. Ah, oh, this one gives tech skills. I could have used that as well. Uh, that's not bad. So, better. So, let's persuade. Science. Or handguns. Uh, not, we don't need the lock picking ones right now. We're talking, so let us put on a talkie helmet. With fancy voice modulators or something to help us uh, convince everyone over. Right. Anyone else of import around here? No, you're just scum sitting about. It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. You gotta earn our That's just the way it is. Alright, so this is kind of a eatery place, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We felled it, mind. Okay, when these are all left. We lost well, these two, two have. And five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. Oh, who is it? Where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're. Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hello there, yes. A stranger comes to our home. Ooh, those are nice button jobs. If you're looking jobs. for a path to walk, you well, found actually, one. Yeah, side if you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. Mm-hmm. Right, so what do you teach exactly? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Uh, I do not now, so know about the descendants. Also, if you die, you won't have any descendants, now will you? So, speak more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Oh, I accept a lot of things into my mind. What do you mean by awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. I kind of want For to many, bring the vicar along with, with this. The cold of death, when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. Oh, you mean Senja? So Senja betrayed you and you turned to religion, and now here we are. Well, that's say, but his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. Hmm. Do you believe in a creator, then? Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. Hmm. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Well, yeah, Whoa. that's... I think I just felt my brain kick into a higher gear. Is this what you folks call enlightenment? Ooh, Phoenix, uh, if it were only that easy, my delightful a start, oh, friend, I open. you've taken but one step on our long and arduous, but ultimately fulfilling, path toward the eternal truth. Go ahead. Okay, so I hear this eternal thrown around a lot. What is that exactly? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Okay, you're very much losing me here. Yeah. 
So even OSI and their members are similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. No, I don't think it does. Okay, never mind then. All right. I think next time we'll talk about uh, more Why about this uh, about this stuff. For now, I'll be going, and uh, I'll be going with this episode. And what I think I'll do is that I'll swiftly switch out Pavati for the vicar, because I really want the vicar to hear all of this and see how he reacts to this. He doesn't seem a fan of philosophers. So, till the next episode. Bye bye.